Hey, so today we are in the Linden Hills neighborhood of Minneapolis, uh, and we are at Wooden Ship Brewing Company, a very new brewery to Minnesota. Um, probably only about a month since they opened, uh, give or take. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also like right down the road from one of the best liquor stores in the city, France 44. Uh, so yeah, it's a hot one out today. It's 93 out. Uh, we're gonna go and check it out now. So, uh, yeah, we just finished up at Wooden Ship. Um, I think, I guess the first impression that we had once we uh, got to the brewery was, uh, it's a very small tap room. We were talking, uh, like, it might be at least like the smallest in the Twin Cities areas as far as like mm -hmm. uh, square feet of a tap room. And, we couldn't think of too many in the state that were even smaller that still use those tap rooms. Cause we've, we could think of a couple that were really small tap mm -hmm. rooms, but since we've been, they've gotten bigger tap rooms. So uh, it's still like, despite its size, uh, the patio is just as big. So the patio kind of just doubles the uh, square feet. It's not like only a few people can be there. Like I still think plenty of space, despite yeah. being one of the smallest tap rooms in the cities. Agreed. Uh, I, th I do think it's a really well built out tap room. Um, it's really cute inside. Like mm -hmm. they had some nice uh, backsplash behind the bar. Uh, it's kind of like meant to like mimic ocean, like nice tiny little wooden. Uh, so yeah, for beers we had, I started off with a blood orange IPA, which is pretty nice, uh, like bitter also like pretty citrusy. Uh, kind of West Coasty, yeah. It was just a really nice, like, West Coast IPA with some citrus added to it. Uh, and what was your first beer? So I had the Tropical Pale Ale, which had mango, pineapple, and curuba, which we both have never seen in a beer before. And for me, I don't know if I've ever seen that. I have never. Ever. Heard of it. Yeah, I've never heard of that fruit ever. Yeah. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was nice and light and a lot of those more like tropical fruity flavors from those fruits did show through for me, but not enough where they were overpowering or anything or one was taking over. So I was very happy with that first beer I ordered. Yeah, especially like we said before we headed in, it's 93 degrees out. We both gravitated to the part of the tap list that had some more refreshing parts to it yeah uh, we had three four ounce pours after that and we kind of gravitated the same way we had a maple golden nail which I was hesitant on but also curious like it sounded like it was gonna be too sweet for a little like crushable beer but I actually thought that was really delicious like yeah, I agree that was very good I, it might have been I th yeah no it was my favorite beer that we tasted and then we had a, a grapefruit rosemary saison, which was, I was a little hesitant on that one, um, just with the rosemary. It's always something that I don't know if I've had a lot of beers, period, with that in it. I actually ended up liking that one a lot, and that probably yeah. tied as my favorite between that one and the maple gold nail. No, I really it enjoyed it too. Very, yeah, it was very refreshing, and it had that little bit of the rosemary flavor, which kind of added just like some uniqueness to it that made it. Suggesting to anyone who has goes somewhere with a rosemary beer, if you get it in a flight, save it for last. I don't know if that's just rosemary in general or if it was this beer specifically but a rosemary sat on your palate yeah and kind of just stayed there for a bit so if you're doing it and like and tasting other beers at the same time you're gonna keep tasting that rosemary yeah i found that out we just found that out today never knew that it was a uh, nice little helpful hint uh but yeah the last beer that we had of four ounce pours was uh, it was just called Imperial Beer. It was a uh, strong ale. It was pretty boozy, uh, kind of uh, like caramel notes to it. 
It was like 9.7, I want to say, off the top of my head. Probably my least favorite of the beers that we tried, but it was still pretty good. I just, I don't think it's something that I would, would drink all the time. I really liked our little uh, visit here to Wooden Ship. I definitely recommend it. So yeah, I think Wooden Hill is gonna turn out to be like a really nice like little neighborhood brewery. Just the building and the size of the brew house, there's no like room for growth without moving, which I don't think they would select this spot if they had any plans for growth. Another similar place like this in the cities are like Barrel Theory and Dangerous Man. Like they have a small space with a small brew house that they don't have a lot of room to expand. So they are more trying to be like a neighborhood brewery. And I think this is a nice little spot to cut themselves into. Mm -hmm. There's not too many breweries nearby in this neighborhood specifically. Um, there's another one in Edina, which isn't too far. Uh, but otherwise, like St. Louis Park, uh, Steel Toe Brewing is like another one that's close by. So it's not, stuff is, there are breweries that are close, but nothing too close. So this is a good spot to cut a little neighborhood brewery into. Uh, we really enjoyed it. So yeah, uh, thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, and ringing that bell. Uh, we'll see you next time.